So here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. And to all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. And to all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in for everything that we have to cover. So the S&P 500 index is what we're going to discuss. But before we do, I want every single investor and viewer to be aware of this opportunity here that I've started the Patreon group with the private discord the private discord has very bright investors very smart investors learning beginning experienced investors we got it all and i'm really glad and privileged to have every single one of them and you can join that community if this is something that interests you so let me share with you some opportunities that presented themselves and when we caught them so one of the first ones that had a lot of opportunity throughout the whole day was very and i mentioned it at 8 11 a.m okay the next one was at 8 46 sfet it has jumped news is coming out that they are an approved vendor to nasa solutions interesting one it's at 160 volume is picking up too so when i talked about sfet right volume was picking up and we caught it at a point where it was sitting at 160 it had picked up volume so i actually have to put the one minute so you can really see it because it touched 160 again after that it had picked up volume and it was way back at this point right here the 160 point right there 1247 is right there showing if you look at the timestamp here right it was literally 846 so this is off by a minute it was sitting at 160 and it ran up to 178 okay that wasn't the highest point of the day. It actually pulled back again and it ran up to 180. Okay. So this was after the pre-market. This was during the pre-market. That right there was a 10% gain, two opportunities. Okay. And this is all about learning. It's not about how much you can gain because something I would want every single investor and viewer to start doing first is watching and paper trading before doing anything speculative because, you know, home runs won't be hit every time. But what we're trying to catch is 5 to 10% on a bad day and on a good day, 10 to 20%. Anything beyond 20% is a home run. So the other one that we caught was very, very was very interesting, okay? To the point that it ran almost 50% up. So very just pulled back and touched $14. One to watch, especially with this kind of volume, already ran once this morning and it has been pulling down at 8 11 a.m so when you really think about it right it was running pulled down right and it hit like 1392 ran up again right to 17 dollars and it was pulling downwards pulling downwards pulling downwards to the point that it hit literally a 14 dollars it was around this area here that we caught it okay and at that point it bounced back up right after the market opened. It looked kind of dead. It wasn't doing much. We already saw it run up, touch, you know, $17, touch, you know, $17 again. Then it was kind of just sideways. And as soon as the market opened, it dipped a little bit, touch 1407. After an hour of me briefing on it, because it only kind of jumped up to 15, came back down, which already gave you almost 10% there, just from the moment I talked about it to when it jumped, pulled back down and ran up to $20 and hit a high of $21 for the day. Very, very interesting one and no pun intended for very. Now, if this is something that interests you, you can join me and the other members to in the Patreon group and it'll give you access to the Discord. So let's talk about the S&P 500 index. The S&P 500 index is playing games i'm not even kidding like you look at it you look at the indicators everything is showing that it could pull back and it just keeps on going it just keeps on going so let's look at this so here we have on the sixth i said don't be surprised because if tomorrow some stocks pull back it is right now a slight possibility on the 30 minute slight pullback but on the one day it has room to go up if it doesn't pull back tomorrow just be aware a slight pullback is coming right now it's not a concern of a crash or correction at the moment it's a sign of cool off but i wanted everyone to be aware i talked about this two days ago and here we are on the eighth and seeing it so 
when I talked about it, it was the 6th. And on the 7th, it actually pulled back a little bit, just a few points, kind of leveled off. And on the 30 minute, it fell down and then it's kind of bringing itself back up. And it almost looks like the stock market wants to keep on pulling upwards. And when you go ahead and look at the one day, the one day is showing room to keep on running compared to the history of how it reacts when it goes to overbought section. But guess what? What happens after the overbought section? What happens? What happens every single time? Pulls down pulls down that's how the 2020 crash happened that's how we had a big pullback right and correction from september to october right here and then right here so when you start seeing at the fact that we're in overbought areas right compared to the past it's showing signs that it could possibly pull back we've seen what it does every single time now one of the biggest rsi pullbacks was back here in 2018 but it only dropped from 2800 to 2500 so i could see a 200 to 300 uh point pullback the only thing is if it's beyond 300 points that could be a little alarming and concerning and we're gonna have to see what's going on the overall markets what's going on behind the scenes the treasury yields you know is it the job outlooks what's going on right but right now on the one day we're showing big room to run up and i've been talking about this since like i said back here on the six and i want everyone to be aware of it but when you put the 30 minute you know it's fighting to stay up there it's fighting and it almost wants to fall and if it continues to fall and the rsi and the macd continues to have these red bars the bigger these red bars the more this could get pulled down with the rsi bringing it to newer lows and even possibly breaking through the 50-day moving average which is 4058. I mean, it's just catching up to the price. So very interesting to me. And I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention. Be aware. Don't be surprised. Let's like kind of like think back and hold up before we panic sell. If it's a correction, a crash, or or what it is, or just an adjustment. Okay. We need to be aware of it. I just want you guys to be on your toes and not be caught by surprise to understand is it bad is it good if the markets continue going higher i could see it going towards 4200 if the markets start to pull back i could see it going towards 3800 on the worst case scenario if it gets to 37 it's a little bit beyond what i expected because keep in mind we're not just at 400 anymore we're almost at 4100 three points away so i'm counting this as a hundred so the 300 point loss on the downward would be up to 3,800, which would be right here around this support here of 3,850. I would really use that point to watch it carefully. But as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.